coming up, hear your friend's secrets with a super spy listening device. Raise the Jolly Roger on a hydraulic flagpole. How to avoid a deep freeze disaster. And learn to bend a soccer ball like David Beckham. Oh, you know, I'm pretty handy with a soccer ball, Dana. Check out my special kicking skills. What? Uh, why don't you watch the story before you get all carried away, Taryn? But first, let's hit the high seas with Daniel and his pirate friends. Arr! We're fearsome pirates, terrorising the high seas. Hey, you sailor, raise the colours! It means flying the flag, Ashley. Ta! Oh, dear. We need a flagpole. That piece of wood would be perfect for a flagpole. Permission to go ashore, sailor. Get me that bare wood. Now attach the Jolly Roger to our new flagpole. Go on, raise it up high. Good. Hey, that landlubber's garden hose is giving me a wicked idea. Time to go ashore again on a host stealing raid. Why have a plane on flagpole? Women can use water pressure to raise the Jolly Roger. We're having a party tonight. Fraser and I are in charge of the decorations. But our string of fairy lights has blown a bulb. And Fraser looks like he's ready to blow a fuse. I think I better show him how a light bulb lights up. Come on, party animal. For Fraser's light bulb lesson, I need a battery and some globes. From one side of the battery, I clip a wire to one side of the light bulb. Then I get another wire and clip it from the other battery terminal to the other side of the globe. And ta-da! It's nice and bright. But that's half the problem. Sometimes these sort of bulbs get so hot, the filament inside breaks. So, instead of light bulbs, we're going to use a whole stack of these little babies. They're not light bulbs, but light emitting diodes. LEDs. All we have to do is join them up in a circuit. Attached to the battery and we see the light. Now we make a whole string of them. There we go, Fraze. Only a few hundred to go. Unlike light bulbs, LEDs don't have a filament that will burn out and they don't get especially hot. They light up as electrons move across what's called semiconductor material. The chemicals used to make the LED semiconductor determine what colour the light will be. How awesome does this look? Well done, Bride Spark. This is going to be one brilliant party. That's going to be a fun party. Good decorations really help to set the mood. Daniel's busy building something to raise a decoration of the pirate kind. Ha ha! My motley crew and I are about to make a water-powered flagpole. Let's think. We've got our wooden flagpole. And that long piece of plastic pipe will do nicely. Listen up, buccaneers. We need a shore raid. You get that plastic pipe, and you get the sprinkler on the hose. Sharpish now. Ah. Right, the plastic pipe will be our shaft. We'll stick the wooden flagpole inside the pipe. Now this bubble bottle will make a perfect piston. We'll tape the sprinkler to the bottom of the pipe, and the water will push it up. All right, we need a flagpole-sized toll in here. You, sailor, go and ask the landlubber to do that. And you, sailor, grab me that tape and scissors. We're going to connect the sprinkler. Make it tight so water won't leak out. Great, our piston is ready. Up here, sailor. We push the flagpole into this hole. Here, sailor, take the flagpole and the shaft and place it by the mast. Good. Now we slide the flagpole down into the shaft. This flag will be flying in no time. Hooping is great fun and good exercise, but keeping the hoop spinning is thirsty work. Better keep those liquids up. A 
nice cold drink is what I need. Hmm, nothing here in the fridge. I didn't plan this very well. Better pop a bottle in the freezer. It'll cool down nice and quick. Into the deep freezer it goes. At last, it's time for a cold drink. Oh no! The bottle's exploded in the freezer. Yuck! Bursting bottle coming through. Better clean up that sticky mess. I don't want this happening again. I wonder what made the lid pop off like that. Time for a little frozen experiment. I'll make myself half a glass of cordial, just like the stuff in the bottle. Now I mark a line at the level of the drink. That goes into the freezer to turn into ice. Look at this! Now that it's an ice block, the frozen drink level is much higher than the line. As water freezes, it expands by up to 10% of its volume. Lara's drink bottle was almost full when it went into the freezer, so it couldn't contain the increased size of the drink as it expanded. If Lara's drink bottle had been made of glass, it could have been smashed by the expanding liquid. I think I'll stick with ice cubes from now on. I don't want another deep freeze disaster. I think Lara learned her lesson the messy way that time. Ashley's about to learn a lesson too, a lesson in long distance listening. Those sneaky boys are up to something. I wonder what they're talking about up there. Why don't I do a little eavesdropping? Careful, careful. I don't want them to notice me. Now I'll just put this microphone down here. Then I can hide behind the bushes and listen in. I wish they'd speak up a bit. The volume's right up. This is no good. I need to boost my listening power. And here's my cunning plan. I'll cover the inside of this golf umbrella with foil. Stick it all down the tape. There. It's like a silver satellite dish. Back out in the garden. I just need to retrieve my microphone. Now I just fix it to the umbrella handle like this. Pretty soon I'll be able to hear every word those boys are saying. Okay. My sound receiving dish goes down here and I can go back to my hiding spot. Good thing Ashley's not here. Now I can hear them talking. Yeah, she always beats us at cards. Yep, the sound is coming through loud and clear. Yes, there it is. Sound travels through the air in waves that spread out and lose intensity as they get further away from their source. Ashley's foil-lined umbrella reflected sound waves from a large area, concentrating them towards the microphone. Giant satellite dishes work in the same way. They concentrate radio waves travelling from outer space into a single point to make the signal stronger. Check that out! Oh no! The boys have seen me! <laughs> oh well, I suppose my silver dish is pretty hard to miss. Hi guys, what's up? I guess I'm not much of a spy. So it's lucky I'm good at cards. The football season is about to kick off for the air. So it's time to get a little practice in. You be the goalie, Sarah. Now watch me kick this one right past her. No! Oh, hit the post. Ah, oh, good save. I won't get into the team at this rate. What will my hero David Beckham do? Hey, that's it. A bent kick. I need to bend it like Beckham. If I kick the ball on one side, it will curve through the air. The ball is harder for Sarah to stop when it bends like this. Hey, now I'm getting somewhere. You beauty! He shoots! He scores! When David kicks the football on one side, he sets it spinning as it flies through the air. 
air passing the ball travels faster on the side that is moving in the same direction as the airflow. This reduces the air pressure on that side of the ball. The ball moves towards the lower air pressure space and so it continues to bend in the direction it's spinning. I can bend it this way. I can bend it that way. I'm unstoppable now. So that's how it's done. A bit of spin on the ball and it curves through the air. <laughs> Watch me bend it like Taryn. How did I know that would happen? You go clean up, Taryn. We'll check out how Daniel's hydraulic flagpole turned out. OK, our flagpole razor is ready for its sea trial. Lash it to the mast, sailors. Come on, quicken it up. Ahoy down there. You get on tap duties. Attach the hose to the sprinkler and wait for my command. Raise, Raise the, the colours. colours. Here it comes. Brilliant! The flag's going up! Now that will strike fear into the heart of any seagoing vessel. Excellent work, me mateys! Captain Daniel has invented a hydraulic flag raising system. Hydraulics use a liquid under pressure to transfer a force from one location to another. In this case, the water enters the bottom of the pipe from the hose and meets the bottle. Because the water cannot get past the bottle, and because water cannot be squashed into the pipe, the water pressure force from the hose acts on the bottle and moves it up the pipe. Now where's a treasure ship we can plunder? Oops! There's that shifty land lubber again. How do we get the flag down quick? Sailor Ashley has a plan. Good thinking, sailor. Now we can sneak on by that landlubber and get back to our plundering. Arr. The only thing wrong with that pirate story was that no one had to walk the plank. Well, it's time for us to walk the plank now, Taryn, because we've come to the end of the show. See you, See you next time. time.